find the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum of f equals x times e to x on the interval negative 3 2 so this is a closed interval so to find maximum minimum we need to find the critical numbers of this function to find the critical number we need to find the derivative okay let's find the derivative so here the function is x no sign means times e raised to 2x so we have a product and that means we must use the product rule so when we have a product the product rule is u prime v plus v prime u okay u is x and v is e raised to 2x when we also know derivative of e raised to 2x is exponential function itself times from the chain rule derivative of 2x is 2 so 2 times e raised to 2x okay so let's find the derivative using the product rule so derivative of first factor derivative of x is 1 times second plus that's the plus from the product rule plus the derivative of second factor derivative of e to x is this a 2x times 2 times u the first factor which is x let's simplify this so we got two terms there's a plus sign e to x is common in both so we can factor that out that leaves 1 plus 2x okay now we set the derivative 0 to find the critical numbers that is this e 2x 1 plus 2x equals 0 okay so we got a product of two things equals 0 that means either this 0 or this 0 or both 0 but if we look at closely this exponential function they are never 0 if you graph this function y equals e raised to 2x this graph never intersects the x-axis so exponential functions are never 0 so e 2x is never 0 that means this must be 0 that forces 1 plus 2x be 0 okay now from this one subtract 1 from both sides and divide by 2 so we get x value or x equals subtract 1 divide by 2 so this is the critical number here but it has to be inside the given interval for consideration so we have negative 3 2 uh, negative 3 somewhere 2 so we consider this negative 1 half will be here will be 0 somewhere 0 so negative 1 half I don't know somewhere here which is inside this interval that's good now to find the absolute max mean we evaluate this function given function at these three points the end points of the given interval okay and at the critical number so let's make a table or you can just find the value x e to x so okay so we got x value and the function is x e to x negative 3 negative 1 half and 2 okay, let's find the corresponding values so plug in 3 so we can write we can just leave exact value negative 3 e raised to 2 times negative 3 negative 6 okay this one is in fact if we simplify that's negative 3 over because negative exponent means we can put on the bottom e raised to 6 is very very large number so this will be negative very small number very very close to 0 okay close to 0 plug in one half negative one half here so this is negative one half e raised to two times negative one half two times negative one half is just negative one uh, we can rewrite this as negative one over two e raised to negative one on the bottom two e okay this is two times some number one over that is a decimal number 
plug in 2 2 times e raised to 2 times 2 4 oh that's large positive number so this will be absolute max absolute max value because these are both negative so this one 2 e raised to 4 or you can go for decimals and the location for absolute max is 2 x equals 2 and absolute minimum value this is almost 0 negative 0 but this one is negative little bit far so negative 1 over 2 e or you can go with decimal numbers just to check but when you write down the final answer go for exact values okay and the location is at negative one half okay final